To be honest, I was initially attracted by the money. When the fellowship scheme was first announced, I had an idea for a problem-based learning project that I wanted to implement in one of my undergraduate modules. It involved laboratory work, and I needed funds for equipment and materials. So at that time, I'm ashamed to say, for me, the fellowships were simply a means to an end. I certainly hadn't appreciated the scope of the scheme, nor had I appreciated the very ambitious but entirely realisable plans that Barbara Redmond and Elizabeth Noonan had for the fellows. In the end, I got the money for the project, but the fellowships involved so much more for me. The fellowship allowed me to introduce problem-based learning to our undergraduate curriculum in chemical engineering. Our stage two students working in teams were required to design, to construct and to test a heat exchanger, a piece of process equipment that's commonly used in industry. And the students loved it. They worked independently to learn about heat exchangers. They were challenged by the design element and they produced some very imaginative and creative devices. And they derived real satisfaction from actually building and testing their own devices. As a means for engaging students actively in their own learning, this was a winner. As a direct result of the fellowship, I also became interested in peer-assisted learning. And with the support of the fellowships and some expert guidance from the Centre for Teaching and Learning, I piloted a system of peer-assisted tutorials for our Stage 3 chemical engineering students using Stage 4 chemical engineering students as tutors. And based on the success of that initial pilot, this year, Dermot Malone from Chemical Engineering, Geraldine O'Neill from the Centre for Teaching and Learning, and I have introduced an elective module for our Stage 4 students in peer-assisted tutoring. But the most unexpected and rewarding element of the fellowship was the group project with three other fellows, one from languages, computer sciences and psychology. We were truly an interdisciplinary team. I worked on an evaluation of staff and student experiences of non-programme electives under the UCD Horizons initiative. For me, it was an incredible learning experience. I gained a fuller and deeper understanding of the sort of teaching and learning issues that cross traditional academic barriers right across campus. Our school, and most importantly, our students have benefited hugely from the fellowship. We've been facilitated in the development and evaluation of several new approaches to enhancing student learning. And many of these initiatives have been specifically commended during recent review visits for professional accreditation and QAQI. For me personally, the fellowships have been an entirely positive experience, even if I hadn't expected quite how much work I was going to have to put into it. I know that my teaching has developed in entirely new directions. I've gained hugely from close personal interactions with the other fellows, all like-minded individuals. We share common goals in our work. We face the same challenges in teaching and learning. And despite the diversity of our academic backgrounds, perhaps because of the diversity of our academic backgrounds, we can learn directly from one another. Through the group projects, we came to feel that we were making a genuine contribution to the development of teaching and learning in University College Dublin. Simply put, instead of airing our opinions in the staff common room, the fellowships were taking those opinions and channeling them into university policy. I can't recommend the fellowships highly enough.